welcome back to my channel. It is time to plan out our meals for the month of November. I am sitting here in my daughter's car actually. She's getting ready to drive and this is her car. Um, and I have a couple minutes, I'm waiting out in the car and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and get this started now because I have a few minutes to work on it while I'm waiting in the car. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going to go through and look for, I know that there's probably three or four meals that we haven't gotten to um, in the month of October. So I always roll those over to November because I already have all the ingredients for them. And then I work from there. Then I will go to my calendar and I'll count how many dinners I think that we will need, like how many dinners we will actually be home for. And um, that's just sort of my process and how I work. I will probably be keeping it pretty simple for the month of November just because of Thanksgiving and that sort of thing. Um, but that is my tentative plan right now. So I'm gonna get to work on it, look up some recipes, and then I will show you what I come up with. think that I'm being that selfish right now You said yourself you'd be breaking your vow I can understand you're tired of this town And I'm not saying that we have to settle down now Just remember this We could have been stardust same world but without us Something made us, made us find each other out there Made us realize we're more than just stardust Ignore this fact if you must To do what your dreams are telling you to do and I had to come out here and check the freezer for something So I thought I would show you what the freezer looks like towards the end of the month this is still pretty full. This is like all air fryer stuff. I have little bits of bread left in here. This is some grilled chicken pockets that I had made up last night, actually. Um, still got a bunch of different soups in here that we could have for lunch. Some leftover dessert. Some naan bread. These are all frozen veggies from the garden. Um, spaghetti sauce. And then here it's looking pretty bare. So I really would like to get this top part cleaned out. Um, but that's what the upstairs freezer looks like. All right, this is my downstairs fridge. This one's looking pretty bare. So I've done a pretty good job of cleaning this out. Just a few veggies left. Um, these are my frozen cherries that I'm going to use up first for pies. And then here, I really would like to get this zucchini used up. I've got some plans for bread and such. I got kale from the garden. Some leftover popsicles that the kids haven't eaten. And then here is my deep freezer, which I don't keep a whole lot in, except for like meat and stuff. This is an extra loaf of Italian bread that I had made. Got some berries and fish down in there. Uh, we got leftovers, white chicken chili, taco soup. This is where I keep meat, more berries, some smoked pork down in there. So I'm trying to make room for a pig we have coming in the next month or two. So that's, I've been working on cleaning out the freezers of stuff like this, like leftovers and that sort of thing. So it is 100% a couple of days later. I did work on it when I was in the car, but now I have finished it while I've been at home here. Got all my meals planned out. So let me flip you around and we will go through them. I do have some new ones on here this month. Um, I try to do that. Every month I try to add just a couple of new ones to see if we will add them to the rotation. And then I will say, this is not my Thanksgiving menu. I do my Thanksgiving menu separately. These are just all of our regular meals for the month of November. 
All right, the only three meals that we had that we did not finish in October is beef pot pie, turkey meatballs, and green chili. I think it's supposed to be enchilada soup. So I already have all the ingredients for this, so I always carry those meals over. We're gonna do homemade pizza. I make like the Weight Watchers dough. I'm sorry if you hear the neighbor's motorcycle. It's crazy warm here today in November, which is like unheard of. Normally you can't, hold on, I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, normally you are not able to do your motorcycle in Michigan in November at all. So I'm glad that he is so happy out there on his motorcycle. Um, but I make Weight Watchers dough sometimes. I'm constantly playing around. I haven't found a perfect pizza dough yet. Um, but that one is uh, no fat Greek yogurt and self rising flour. It does actually make a nice dough. Homemade hamburger helper. We've had this once before and everybody liked it. Thai red curry noodles. Uh, French dip sandwiches in the crock pot. Chicken rice bake. This is a completely new one that I found. Um, so I'll let you know how we like it. This is also a new one, Asian pot sticker soup. I've done something similar, um, but what I decided to do, it doesn't keep the next day very long because the pot stickers get really mushy. So I'm gonna make those separate and add them to the soup as we eat it. Lasagna soup, that's just kind of a recipe that I made up. Freezer soup night. You could easily do this with um, leftovers as well. So, sorry if you hear that, it's just so loud outside. Um, I freeze a lot of leftovers. If it's freezable, I would rather freeze it than to have everybody get sick of it and eat it like one more day. I'd rather pull it out of the freezer, uh, you know, a couple weeks later, a week later, have it for lunch and not have people sick of it. So, I have a bunch of soups, which you saw in my freezer. Um, so I'll just pull out all of them and then people can pick which one they would like to eat and that will clear up some space in the freezer and then that gives me a whole dinner that's already done, which I really, I really enjoy doing stuff like that. Then we're having the regular tacos spaghetti. We usually always have that once a month in my family. Um, homemade chicken noodle soup. This is a recipe from my friend Krista that I got years and years and years ago. She actually brought it to me when I had my first baby. So 16 years ago, she brought me this soup um, as having a meal after having a baby. And I just, I love it. It turns into almost like a chicken and dumpling because the noodle is like a really thick egg noodle and it cooks for a long time. It's delicious. Uh, Korean beef bowl, we've had that before here. I always, I always link whatever I can link for you so that you have the recipe. Instapot chicken burrito bowl. Um, I'm going to try meatloaf. I haven't made my family meatloaf in a super long time, but I think it's going to be good. I think Jericho might be the one that likes it the best. Um, he really is like a meat and ketchup kid. He likes meat and ketchup, so gonna try that out. Um, we usually always have jambalaya once a month. Jericho does not love that one, but the rest of us love it. Really spicy. It's just a really good one pot meal and I have all those um, peppers frozen for my garden this summer. Tater tot casserole. That was a um, suggestion from Jericho. This is just a good, not super healthy, but it's just a good family dinner, warm hot meal. Mexican chicken. Um, I'm just going to kind of make this one up. I just thought I would kind of bake some chicken breasts and put like salsa and cheese on top and then serve it with Mexican rice. Beef burritos. We had this this month and I've been using my homemade salsa as the enchilada sauce. So I might be doing that or we might do green enchilada sauce. I'm not sure. Crispy Chicken Ranch Wraps. This is a new um, recipe. Not hard. I'm just going to buy crispy chicken from Aldi. Put it all together in a wrap. Um, and then here is a tip if you have picky eaters. Jericho does not like tortillas. He does not like bread. He doesn't like sandwiches of any kind, really. 
So what I will do is I will just put chicken and the lettuce and the ranch dressing and the cheese like deconstructed on his plate and he can eat it that way. I don't care if he eats, you know, if he doesn't have a tortilla, that's fine. Pulled pork, I have this in the freezer from the summer. That'll be easy, I'll just pull it out, heat it up with some extra barbecue sauce. Tuscan chicken, this is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe that I've kind of adapted, but it's chicken with lots of Italian spices and then you simmer it in tomatoes and cream. And I usually serve it over pasta. Pork chops, um, haven't had pork chops in a while and even though we're getting a pig, that just kind of sounded good. So gonna do some pork chops and then we still have some steaks in the freezer from the cow that we had gotten and that was also a suggestion from Jericho. Our lunch items are pretty much the same. We do air fryer lunch. We always have stuff for flatbread pizza. I make the kids this Instapot mac and cheese that's really quick. We've been liking hot dogs in the air fryer. It cooks them real nicely. We actually have leftovers most of the time for lunch. Um, so that's how we clean up our leftovers. I make this hot buffalo chicken dip that we can have with celery or tortilla chips. And then chicken salad I can always make. Um, that one's mostly for myself. These are just some of the sides, recipes, and snacks that I'm thinking that um, pretty much we just have veggies as sides always with our main meals, but these are some kind of the extra things that I want to make. I always have some dessert options here, and then I try to come up with some breakfast options once they've gone through the crap cereal that I buy them. Um, and if they can't think of anything to make themselves, then I will do something like this. All right, that is our entire menu for the month of November, minus Thanksgiving. So we will eat, we'll have our big Thanksgiving meal and we'll eat off of it for a couple of days. So I only planned 26 meals because um, that should get us all the way through November. And I'm really looking forward to November. November is one of my favorite months. My birthday's in November. My oldest daughter Journey's birthday's in November. So really looking forward to it. Before I forget, I wanted to just say a special welcome to all of the new people here. Um, the last couple of days, I've gotten quite a few new subscribers, so I'm so glad that you are here. And I do a lot of food-related stuff, homemaking, family stuff. Um, that's really what I'm about here. So thanks for joining us and we will see you in the next video. Bye!